How can we arouse intuition? Robert Crosby's response to this question is read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is an extract from Answers to Questions on the Ocean of Theosophy by Robert Crosby, published in 1933. Robert Crosby's response. Intuition means direct cognition and comprehension without reasoning from premises to conclusions. It is a power that every human being has, either latent or operative in some degree. It is beyond or above the reasoning faculty. The bar to its operation is our tendency to depend upon our reasoning powers based as they are upon our superficial and incomplete common knowledge. This common knowledge is based upon our personalities in their relation to the external world and does not take into account the spiritual nature of man who is the real seer and thinker. To arouse the intuition, the false views of man and nature so generally held have to be replaced by the knowledge of these that theosophy imparts. Not only has the mental perception to be gained, but all our thinking must be based upon this right knowledge. We will then stand as the immortal changeless thinker who witnesses all appearances as changing expressions of conscious beings and can see beyond any and all expressions to the essential spiritual nature of every entity. Each and every manifestation, physical, psychical or otherwise, is an expression from within outwards. The eye of spirit is not limited to, nor deceived by, the manifestation's appearance or expression, but with that inner sight turned upon the whole nature within and without of the being gazed upon so to speak, has a full comprehension of the purpose and value of the appearance or expression. This is not a reasoning from premises to conclusions, but is a direct and instantaneous cognition of all the facts and factors as well as their contingent expressions on all planes. The perfection of this divine faculty can only be attained when the aspirant is neither attached to nor disturbed by any externalities whatever and when he has that additional knowledge that living the higher life implants. A master once wrote, the more unselfishly one works for his fellow man and divests himself of the illusionary sense of personal isolation, the more he is free from Maya and the nearer he approaches divinity.